Right, some news just in today on the update to the 18th edition Amendment 1. So, we've got a whole, um, got a whole through BSI of this announcement about a work starting to happen on Amendment 1. So, work commencing on Amendment 1, BS 7601-2018. A project to amend the 18th edition has been approved to incorporate international and European standards, some of which are listed below, into the British standard. These have already been through formal standards development process and so technical comments on them are not appropriate for incorporation activity. Any comments received will be retained for consideration for submission into the International European Standards Organization at the point those standards are reviewed. This is not an exhaustive list of what will be considered for inclusion as international and European standards are being published all the time. In addition to the incorporation activity, the project will also consider comments submitted on the draft of BS 7671 2018 which were not resolved at this time. So it's not necessary to resubmit any comments that have been submitted previously. This might be with regards to part eight, we'll see. This is an amendment project and is not a full review of the standard. It should be noted that the colour cream will no longer be included as a permitted colour in EN 60445 or table 5.1. So the confusion of cream being right now since the corrigendum, we have pink used for functional earth and for low voltage control circuits, I believe. So that's going to be, um, cre cream is going to be gone, but there's no mention um, on if the other pink will stay. So it looks like we're going to have two pinks. I suppose they'll retract the other, we'll see. But yeah, pink will be used instead of cream. Okay, so here's a here's a list of the standards that are, you know, not, not exhaustive, but are into, into review. We've got the chapter 56 of safety services. We've got here... Chapter 55, within there, section 551, which is low voltage generating sets. We have 704, so uh, special location of demolition sites. 711, which is exhibition shows and stands. There's going to be some reviews and updates to these. Now, these are two new ones uh, that are going to be looked at, and I did mention this with um, when I talked to Sparks Magazine about the introduction of power over Ethernet. This has been in... Um, in discussion a bit lately. So 716, which is DC power distribution over information technology cable infrastructure, and 720, which is DC power supply systems in the data center. Now, having peeked into IEC 716 and 720, there's not a huge amount of content in there, so that's not much, I don't think, of a, of, um, a significant um, amount to worry about. Electric Vehicles is here again, 722 edition, 2003, probably have another rethink over some of that. And then this is really the um, area, and we knew this from Appendix 17 of the current 18th edition, that it says in Appendix 17 that the energy efficiency will be brought forward in a future amendment. So it's coming up again, now 6364881, the Part 8. If you looked at the public draft when it was out before the 18th edition, there was a huge Part 8 intended with things like uh, barrier sensor methods and you know loads of loads of things. I did a video actually um, in this series where I reviewed the public draft. Um, having looked at what is still in 8.1, the content's all still there, so it might just be that this is going to be pushed in again. Who knows? Uh, so that's energy efficiency. Edition 1 having been published as a standalone British standard. There's also this one, H2, which is Smart Low Voltage Electrical Installations Having Been Published as a Standalone. I'm going to have a look at these and see if there's much there, but it's been announced. Now, this is the bit. Okay, if the project is on schedule, it is expected that the draft for public comment for this amendment will be available in late September 2020. So that's when we'll have a draft available to comment on and object to and put input for, with the final publication being available by April 2022. I still think it'll be brought closer to that, um, especially, well, who knows? I think it'll be brought closer, especially because the IET will probably want their branding to be put onto a new book, but uh, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, but there you go, that's just an announcement that's been uh, made accessible. I've just got hold of it today. We have some understanding on the future direction of the 80th edition of Amendment 1, and we have some understanding on the timeline. Okay, see you later.